Hello saxophone players and welcome to the London Saxophone School. My name is Martino Scovacricchi and today I'm going to show you some really cool tricks about practicing scales. This can be applied to any types of scales, to majors, to minors, to pentatonics, augmented, diminished, whatever you're doing, whatever you're practicing at the moment. You know that scales, you need to go through 12 keys, right? So from zero sharps and flats all the way to seven sharps and flats. Sometimes that process can be overwhelming because you have so many to go through and you're like, oh my God, um, I don't have time or there's, there's a lot to do. So the, the thing is, make your life easier and divide those 12 keys into groups. This is what we're going to do. First of all, um, you see a line here, that's the separation. You have the first group and the second group. So we have easy scales and hard Scales. The reason for that is because the easy scales go from zero sharps and flats all the way to three and then hard are from four all the way to seven. Okay. Now just to be sure that we actually know what we're talking about, let's just go through the scales quickly. So we have zero sharps and flats, that's a C. Then we have um, one sharp, it's G, two sharps, D, three sharps, A. Flats, one flat is F, two flats is B flat, and three flats is E flat, okay? So these are your seven scales from the easy group. You wanna be really comfortable in getting these scales under your fingers. Spend a few months on only on these scales, just forget about this. Completely forget about these scales and really forget and focus on these scales in here. You can go through them, you can randomly pick any of those and just play them. If I tell you play a G major scale, you should be able to go like without even thinking. If I tell you E flat major scale, like that, okay, with that time of, with that speed in thinking. I'm not talking about speed and in, in the way you play the scale, but the way you think about the scale. So you gotta know the structure, you gotta have it under your fingers, you gotta know the positions, um, you gotta know how many sharps and how many flats, of course. Once you're comfortable in the easy, in playing the easy scales, start looking at the hard scales. Again, just to be sure that we all know what they are, let's just go through them. Four sharps, E. Five sharps, B. Six sharps, F sharp and seven sharps, C sharp. Flats, four flats, A flat, five flats, uh, D flat, six flats, G flat, and seven flats, that's a C flat. Now I want you to notice something here in the flat column here. If you look at the last three um, scales. We have D flat, G flat, and C flat. I don't know if you noticed, but these three scales are actually in harmonics of some of the sharps. If you find them, D flat is the same as C sharp, G flat is the same as F sharp, and C flat is the same as B, right? So, one thing that you have to know you're never going to be playing in C flat major and C flat minor. That's just crazy and stupid. So you want to make your life easier and basically don't play them because you're already playing these scales this way here. Okay, you're just thinking differently. You're thinking in sharps instead of thinking in flats. Personally, I like thinking in sharps way better than thinking in flats. When I practice, when I go through my scales, I do this. I start with my easy um, group. I go through them, I'm really sure that I'm comfortable with them, with them, and then I move here, I do all my sharps in here, and then a, a flat, and then I completely ignore those ones here. So that's my method. Uh, try it out, it gives you a real um, clarity of the 12 keys, and apply it to anything, major, minor, anything you want. So take it easy, happy practice, happy scales, and look forward to seeing you again in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.